Once you've got simplifying square roots down, multiplying square roots is just a teensy bit further than that. So keeping in mind everything you've learned last lesson, when you multiply square roots, you want to multiply first the outside numbers of the root. Those are going to stay outside. Then you multiply the inside numbers of the square root. Those are going to stay inside. And then you can just simplify just like before. Let's do a couple examples. Here we've got the square root of 5 times the square root of 5. Since they're both inside the radical, I'm just going to do the square root of 5 times 5, which would be the square root of 25. Of course, we could simplify that from there, and our overall answer is going to be 5. Again, because 5 times 5 gives us a pair, and that equals 25. So, square root of 5 times square root of 5 is 5. Here we've got the square root of 3 times 2, the square root of 4. Now, here we do have a number outside of 2. Here we do not, but there is always an implied 1. So if you have nothing, you could just treat it like a 1. So we'd have on the outside 1 times 2, because both of these numbers are outside of the square root. That'll give us a 2. Now, moving to inside the square root, we have 3 times 4. That'll give us the square root of 12. Now this just looks like some of the problems we did before where we could simplify from here. Let's take this 12 here, we could break that down into 3 times 4, the 4 could be broken down into 2 times 2. We've got a pair of 2's so we can pull that out. That's going to give us the 2 that we started with times the 2 that we simplified out with what's left in the square root just this 3 right here. So we'd have square root of 3. Overall this is going to be 4 square root of 3. Alright, alright, let's do one more. Gotta give the people what they ask for. Here we have negative 5 square root of 6 times 7 square root of 12. First let's start with these outside numbers. I have negative 5 times 7. That's going to give me negative 35. Let's move inside the square roots. Here we have square root of 6 times square root of 12. That's going to be the square root of 72. From here, we want to simplify just like before. 72, I know, well, I know that could be 6 times 12. Breaking down my 12, I have 6 times 2. Now, I could break these 6s down further, but I already see that I have a pair. So from there, I could just take that pair and simplify it out. That's going to leave me with outside the same negative 35 that I had before times the 6 that I simplified out. So times 6 with left inside the square root. The only thing that's left without a match is this 2. So times square root of 2. Overall, this is going to equal negative 35 times 6, which is negative 210 square root of 2.